I'm ready. Let's go. So, what are we into? Well, it's July. It's the end of July. We've got the July, August. It's basically the midsummer Bank and Creek kit. And uh, this is the first time I'm looking at it. I'm um, just getting ready to crack it open. I can see a couple things in here that I'm excited about. One thing that I've used already, and uh, I think uh, I think this is going to be a really great kit. So without any further ado, let's just get straight into it. Feel free, guys, to uh, to comment. Uh, if you've not seen these Bank and Creek kits, they run every two months uh, from LureNet.com. Uh, Jeremiah, welcome in. And uh, they are tailored, hand-selected by uh, Creek enthusiasts at LureNet, made for us. Us guys, you know, Creek enthusiasts, uh, river enthusiasts, guys that like to wade and uh, uh, fish from the bank, even kayak. Um, so this, it's super tailored to this. So in every kit, you're gonna you're gonna pop off with the uh, the the bite spec guide, right? It's got the Q, uh, the QR code reader. It'll take you to not only informational uh, stuff about the baits, but uh, you could see people that have used this. Uh, LoreNet explaining like how each bait is to be used, how it fishes, all about it, all that good stuff. Click the QR code. And uh, if you like to read like I do, it's got all the different stuff about every single bait inside. So that is your bite spec guide. And every single uh, one comes with Mr. Scalish, Mr. Frank Scalish. And can I just say that Frank Scalish is a cool name for a guy who designs baits. That's just, I feel like if your name is Mr. Scalish, you almost have to be into fishing, right? So you get uh, you get uh, a limited artwork. This is number 43 of 300. There's only 300 of these. So guys, there's only 300 kits. And uh, anyway, you get some custom artwork. So all right, right off the rip, I saw this hanging out right at the top of the box. And you guys, if you have not seen it on my channel yet, uh, check it out. Uh, I have uh, fished with this quite a bit. This is the Jitterbug 2.0, and I featured this in my unique and weird lures challenge. It is a, it's a classic bait, but I, now I'm going to crack open each and every one of these uh, lures. And uh, this is made by Arbogast. Now, Jitterbug is not new to the market, but they have taken great strides uh, to update the Jitterbug. And this is the Jitterbug 2.0. And if you have not seen this, it is not even close to the Jitterbug of old, right? Which I'm a fan of already. So this bait right here, not only is it segmented, right? So you've got a segmented bait. First of all, that is a wild. That is a wild bait. And it's got the classic Jitterbug lip, right? So it's got that crazy walk back and forth action. If you've not thrown a Jitterbug, it does not take a lot of fast motion. This this bait almost makes you slow down just a skosh and keep that bait in the strike zone. If you move it too fast, you're not going to get that really nice action out of the jitterbug. And the, and the 2.0 has got even a wider stance, a little wider wobble to it. And uh, I mean, just look at the paint job on this thing. Oh, that is so sick. And the long feathers. I mean, that's just extra extra razzle dazzle there for the fish to look at when it's in the water so you can pause this it'll stay in the in the on the water on top it's not like a buzz bait where you got to keep moving it so if you've never worked a jitterbug before um you can pause it it works just like a popper you can stop it keep it moving doing a little do a little stop and go action a little pause action but this is the jitterbug 2.0 and uh the color is uh called blue kill blue kill Jointed 2.0 Jitterbug. That's pretty sick. Okay, that's bait number one from the Bank and Creek kit. All right, we're opening these live in the moment, guys. I'm just popping these out. Speaking of popping them out, the Teeny Pop R from Rebel. And uh, this is in uh, Special Ops. Special Ops. Let's pop this bad boy open. Special Ops has got, ooh, I like the, I like the pattern design on that. Again, a nice decorated feather tail right in back. It's even, it's not just the, 
the white feather. It's got a little bit of flashing in there. A little bit of flashing just to catch the sun. It's got that glitter flashing in there. And you can see this is a this is a pretty small lure. If you guys are wondering, this is, I mean, perfect for creek creeks. Uh, look at the size of this. Just under, it's right around two inches. Perfect creek popper. Man, if you like fishing for, I mean, bass are going to nail this, but you're not going to weed out all the other fish that you want to catch. Your panfish, your sunfish are all going to attack this. Rock bass, they're all going to go wild after this. Teeny Pop R in Special Ops, Color Special Ops. I like it. All right, I see a package of yum. What do we got? The Thumpin' Dinger in June Bug. Now, the Thumpin' Dingers, crack this open here. Thumpin' dingers are about, what, a six-inch bait? Now, the thumpin' dinger is basically kind of, it's got the classic ribbon tail to it. And this June bug color, you can see this June bug color has got a lot of fleck in it. Look at that teal fleck in that bait. Absolutely great bait. Thumpin' dinger, I use a bunch of different ways. I mean, you could just Texas rig this straight up. Um, you could put it on a, a swim bait jig head. You could use it as a trailer. Um, I've been using I've been using these actually uh, for a, a spinner trailer uh, quite a bit. What I'll do is I'll reduce it down just a touch and use it on the back of some of my covert uh, Booyah covert spinners. Which uh, well, I don't know. We may have some other stuff in here. I don't want to start uh, saying all the different ways you can fish this. Obviously, a nice uh, ribbon tail worm. Uh, you can fish a million different ways. You can rig it a different, a bunch of different ways. And man, the June bug, June bug color is classic. All right, so we got the thumping dinger in June bug. All right, what do we got here? Oh, speaking of rigging it up, you got the uh, uh, three aught Pro X EWG hooks, and uh, what is it, a pack of five? So a great way to rig up the soft plastics. Let's see, uh, let's see what else may be possibly rigged with that. We got another package of, oh, speaking of ribbon tails, a more, a more classic, uh, an actual ribbon tail is the, uh, the seven, uh, 7 7.5 ribbon tails uh, from Yum in Tequila Sun. This is one I have not tried yet. This color I have not tried yet. Now that, my friends, is a ribbon tail. I'm sorry I even described the yum thumping dinger as having a ribbon tail because this is the ribbon tail, the, tri the tried and true ribbon tail. And uh, when you've got a big ribbon tail like that, man, this goes buck wild in the water as a trailer. It is just going to, this is gonna get, this is gonna bring a big bass up. So this is absolutely perfect for that EWG rig. Uh, you could slow it down and fish it weightless, I like throwing in the creeks. I like doing an eighth or sixteenth ounce bullet weight, or uh, like a like a coned weight. Um, but that's a that's that's a that's a good way to rig these. Ribbon tail, tequila sun. I like that color, tequila sun. That's a solid color, and uh, you get twelve. If I didn't mention that already, you get twelve in the ribbon tails. You get ten of the uh, thumping dinners in the packs. All right, listen, we're not done. We're not done. All right, Yum has got us hooked up again. This is the Spine Crawl, and uh, I have fished with these quite a bit. The Spine Crawl, this is in Bama Magic. Bama Magic. All right. I'm trying to get my chats to come up. My chat like came up and then... Uh, there we go. The curl tail. Hey, I like it. I like it. All right. The spine crawl. The spine crawl has got a very compact body. It's very, very slender. And uh, interestingly enough, I have seen these especially by one of the, the local Southern Ohio fishing legends, um, uh, told me that sometimes smallmouth, especially creek smallmouth, 
uh, may be intimidated by large crawls or claws on crawls. And so if you are experiencing a little bit of a finicky bite, you can actually pop these off and just fish the body of a crawl uh, just almost as a net rig. But I have fished these spine crawls and the claws have great kicking action. You can see these claws have that little kind of hitch in them, right? That little hitch, which gives them a great kicking action. I've used this as a trailer. I've used it straight up by itself. Um, I've used this on a uh, like a like a baby boo jig, the uh, the baby boo jig. I've used it uh, on uh, just a straight up EWG like Texas rigged, and uh, I've used these as a as a Ned rig. I actually tried it with the claws pinched off, and it works just like it's almost like a like a fatter bodied Helgramite. Uh, so they work a multitude of ways. And this is the Bama uh, Bama Magic. You get eight in a pack of these, eight of those. We're still going. We're still going. I'm telling you, these, ba these Bank and Creek kits don't disappoint, guys. All right. Now, it wouldn't be summertime uh, if, we didn't, if we didn't get into a little top water, right? And so this is the Pond Magic Buzz. And uh, I have not used this color. Uh, this is Grasshopper. Ooh, first of all, I like the name. We're going to pop this out of the package here. I want to show you guys. I have used the Pond Magic Buzz before, not in this color. Cracker open. I like it. Grasshopper. Buzz baits are really great. Uh, especially in the morning and in the evening in summertime when those bass come out for that uh, just post post or pre-dawn and post sun, uh, sunrise, that top water bite goes absolutely nuts, especially uh, when you see that action going and they're hitting, they're just, just crushing top water as that light begins to fade or as the sun is just starting to come up. That top water will be absolutely key. Uh, you can use this by itself. It is, it's a pretty light because it is, it's in the Pond Magic series. And the Pond Magic series are a little bit lighter weight. Um, let's see if it, does it give a weight on here? I don't know if I can see a weight. I don't see a weight on here, but I will tell you this is a lighter action buzz bait. So you can throw a trailer on this to give it a little bit more casting distance. Um, so I've used like small, uh, uh, paddle tails, um, like the long john minnow, but um, you could probably use the crawl on this, or you could slim down the uh, thumping dinger and uh, maybe down to like half size and put the half of that back on there, unless you wanted a, a huge long one. I, I don't think you'd want too much short strike action going on, but about a half a thumping dinger on there, boom, perfect. We're not done. We're, we're absolutely not done. We've got more stuff. Well, before we, before we go through the rest of the baits, uh, what else do you get in the Bank and Creek kits? Well, uh, I won't show you this code because this is, uh, this is specific to, I think, this kit anyway. Um, but you can, you can there's a 20% coupon code inside the kits. Uh, you get swagged out. I'm not sure if every kit has the same stickers, but we've got a lure net. You can, you can see that. It's transparent and with white there, so it's kind of hard to see. But it says lure net, fishing headquarters. And then uh, I got a Booyah Bates sticker. So we get some swag. We get some swag. And uh, we're not done. There's still three more things in this kit. Three more things in this kit. All right. So, ooh, ooh, okay. Scottsboro. Scottsboro Tackle Company. We actually get two of these. Looks like in two different weights. Yes, it is. Uh, we get a 3 16ths and a quarter ounce. Each of them in a two-pack of the bullet weights. And uh, that is going to pair up perfect with the Pro X EWG 3 aughts to rig up any of the soft plastics that we got, the thump and dinger, the spine crawl, and the ribbon tail. So kit, perfect. We're not done. We're still not done. <laughs> and uh, last but certainly not least, uh, we have got the uh, Norman Lures Middle N. Now this is a longer, this is a longer build crankbait. Um, something that is is uh, a little bit longer than what I typically use. But I've said this before on on, if especially if you're creek fishing, with a uh, with a crankbait that has a longer bill, 
don't think of it so much, even though it says seven to nine feet, right? You don't have to think of it so much as, as deep diving, as quick diving, right? So because it's got that longer bill, the, traje the downward trajectory is gonna get you down deeper, quicker in the creek. So let's just say you've got a nice, uh, you know, slack water pool on the backside of a riffle and you wanna cast and get straight down as deep as you can, as quickly as possible, consider throwing something that has a little bit deeper dive to it. And uh, this is actually kind of the, the perfect diving depths. You probably wouldn't want a super max in a creek, but I'd say it was like something in the seven to 10 foot range, which this is, is gonna act like a quick diving uh, crankbait versus a shallow diving crankbait, which just kind of runs one to three and then gets you there. But if you've got some of those deeper pools, some of those deeper eddies, and you want to get down to the bottom quick and start working the bottom, this is going to work. And I know these Norman, these Norman crankbaits are great because already in the Banking Creek kit this year, we've had the Speed N Junior, which was just nuts. It was nuts. It started off the year absolutely insane. It was, uh, it was, it was a blast to throw that thing, and I'm sure. This one's gonna be just as good. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, hold on, where did the package go? This is called Thun oh, Lavender Tiger Shad. Lavender Tiger Shad, and you can see the pattern on that. Look at the sparkle on that. I hope that comes through. Look at the spark on that. Let me turn the light. Let me turn the light up to max. There we go. Look at the spark on that dang thing. It's, it's nice. I'm telling you. In person, it, a camera probably doesn't do it justice, but man, in person, that is, that is one of the brightest sparkles I think I've ever seen on a crankbait. That is a really nicely done paint job. Wow, so Bank and Creek Kit is absolutely loaded for the summertime. All right. So let's go, let's work them back and backwards just to show you guys if you're just joining in. So the Bank and Creek Kit, it's normally 39 bucks. Of course, if you guys wanna pick one up, you can use my code, which is MFM15 at lurenet.com. And it'll actually make the kit just under 32 bucks for you. So you'll save quite a bit of money. It'll be just right around 31 and some change before shipping. And uh, yeah, so we've got the, uh, the Norman middle in. We've got a lot of great terminal tackle. You've got basically four. Um, you got four uh, tungsten tungsten worm weights. I call them bullet weights, but worm weights. You got two and three sixteenths and two and quarter ounce. You've got a five pack of the Pro X EWGs and three aught. And let's see, working backward. Let's go over the swag. Right, you get some swag. You get the bite spec guide, which goes over all the lures that you get. It's even got a QR code to bring you to all the videos that tell you about the, the baits, how they fish. You get some custom artwork by Mr. Frank Scalish. Um, we got three packages of soft plastics. We got the Thumpin' Dinger in June Bug. There's a ten, what was it I say, 10 pack of those? A 10 pack of the Thumpin' Dingers in June Bug. I'm gonna bring those out again so we can check those out. The Thumpin' Dinger in June Bug. Nice. <clears throat> nice, I like it, I like that, perfect. Great describer, great describer, I love that. And just like we, we talked, just like Joshua was saying, uh, the crawl lures uh, like that cut through the water the best because of that cut in each of the claws. Love it, makes a big difference. This is in Bama, what did I say? Bama Magic. And this is an eight pack of these spine crawls. Great crawl bait. Again, you can throw it on the tackle that comes in here or you can rig it up a multitude of ways. And uh, our soft plastic ends with the ribbon tail in Tequila, Tequila Sun. I almost said Tequila Sunrise. Tequila Sun. And this is a big old ribbon tail. These are seven and a half inch, nice big ribbon tails, right? And so the Tequila Sun is actually a laminate color. So it's got that dark blackish color on bottom and then goes into the nice light underbelly color. So the Tequila Sun Ribbon Worms by Yum. And uh, those, 
I think you get a solid dozen of those. You do. 12 pack of those. And then let's talk about the rest of the hard baits. So what do we got in here so far? We've got three soft plastics. We've got three packages of terminal. And we've got four hard baits. Now to finish out, I already showed you the, uh, the Norman middle end. We've got the Teeny Pop R. The Teeny, Teeny Pop R. And our color name was Special Ops. Special Ops got a little got a little glow glit little glitzy glam going on there in the tail. I like using a popper, and especially when it's when the the back treble is dressed with a feather or some action back here, because you can let it go and that just sits in the water, and those fish will eyeball that sometimes and just wait for the next movement. And this actually helps them key in on the bait and reduces the amount of misses and short strikes on these. So not to be discounted that that is uh, dressed on the back. Now, speaking of dressed in the back, the Jitterbug 2.0, I'm telling you, I just, I just released a video that featured this exact same bait in this exact same color, the blue kill. Um, and uh, it, it, it caught big smallies. And let me just tell you, if you've not thrown a Jitterbug before, uh, it's got a very swishing kind of like walking uh, back and forth wild action, right? And uh, it actually benefits you to throw this in a little slower retrieve. The bait will actually kind of force you to slow down a little bit because if you go too fast, you're not going to get that nice kind of waddle action that this, that this bait has, right? And then if you want to stop it, of course, the back hook is dressed with these wild, crazy, just bright colored feathers, and so if you stop it, um, they will attack on the, on the paws. And uh, it's, got a, it's got a jointed body, so it's going to have an extra nice wide wobble to it. Killer topwater. And then to round off our hard baits, and uh, speaking of topwater, we got three topwaters and a crank. Uh, so you've got almost all your options of uh, topwater. We've got the Pond Magic Buzz, and this was in color Grasshopper. You could probably use any of the soft plastics, to, to put on as a trailer on the back of this, I would probably opt for either the Craw or the Thumpin' Dinger. If it was the Thumpin' Dinger, I'd probably maybe do like a half size um, because this is a this is a smaller uh, smaller buzz and it is perfect, perfectly sized for creek action. So that is the Bank and Creek Kit for the middle of summer. We'll call that the midsummer Bank and Creek Kit. So thanks for, uh, thanks for hanging out and watching the Bank and Creek Kit, guys. As always, if you want to grab one of those, my code MFM15 at lurenet.com will save you. It's, they're about four, just under 40 bucks. It'll save you eight bucks. And while you're there, grab some, uh, grab some extra stuff. There's a lot of cool stuff. So grab some of uh, those new finesse worms. Uh, the finesse worms, the new uh, yum neds, the ned dingers, and uh, the helgramites have been pretty key. Try that bubblegum lemon swirl. That's not bad. Anyway, guys, <laughs> thanks for hanging out and tuning in. Uh, I will see you on the next fishing mission. See you.